Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time of joining me, my name is Alex Marie and I run this channel and a blog of the same name. I'm going to show you how I turn those pile of scraps into these shorts for the hot weather. Right. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the notification bell and join me for even more DIY projects. So for now, I'm just taking up out the scraps, which I'm going to use. I have about three large pieces. So I'm going to just take that apart and join them to some smaller pieces to make enough for the front and back of the shorts. Right, we are back. The first thing I'm doing is tracing out my trouser slooper or pants slooper, which I did about two, three videos ago. So I'm just tracing it about the knee length or not quite knee length, more like mid thigh. I've decided on 18 inches. I am 176 cm tall, so you can do the math from there. I'm tracing out the front and I'm also tracing out the back. In case you're wondering what I'm using to trace, I'm just using this uh, leftover packing material. It's like nylon, but it's really thick, about the thickness of a trash bag, I think. But it makes very good tracing material. Now I'm modifying my pattern. I am lowering the waist by two inches, just below the belly button, adding about two inches of ease. I'm straightening out the waistline too and match it, marking where I'm going to put my pockets. So I'm just going to freehand the pockets, get the shape I like and the dimensions I like. I don't want it to pass the center front seam there. Um, okay, and once I'm done, I will just lower the crutch too and cut it out. Using the front as my template, I'm going to mark where my waist seam is and the length of the shorts and I'm just going to square out all the points so that it's balanced. It's always important to square out on your center line. So I'm taking the waist down two inches to also drop in the crotch about half an inch and then I'm now cross checking where the pockets should be and checking that the length is correct. The little side seams and the inseams should be the same on both front and back. Now I'm cutting it out. Okay, now I'm just trying to figure out what pieces I can use so that I can fit my front and back pieces. Here I've already sewn some pieces together. I use French seams so that the inside is tidy and there are no raw edges. For this one, I'm going to put the front. I actually made a mistake here. It's supposed to face the other way, but it still worked out just fine. So I'm just trying to align it in a way that there's seam allowance where I need it. Some of the seam allowances were not up to half an inch, but I tried to get as close as possible. So I'm marking my seam allowance out in chalk. Once I'm satisfied with this, I'm just going to cut it out. Another thing I did is that I took out the waist shaping. So I'm really just going to square the waist straight across because I'm putting an elastic band. So you can see it's quite straight. Now the front piece is actually short. I'm going to add an extension at the waist because of the elastic band casing. You see what I mean? For the back, I had enough fabric actually for the elastic band casing. So that wasn't a problem. I just had to make sure I left about an inch and a quarter at the waist and whatever else was left for the hem. So I really didn't have to patch too much here. I patched about maybe six pieces of fabric as you can see just to get this but the back had more than enough so i aligned everything added my seam allowance for the hem i'm actually just going to leave the hem rough as it is i will try to say straighten it out when i join the front and the back so they're the same and another thing you might notice is that i straightened out the side seam i didn't taper it in the way it was drafted because i don't want the legs to be too clingy i want some room Now I'm cutting it out, making sure everything is where I want it. The next thing is this um, pocket piece. 
I initially wanted to do inseam pockets. I drafted this to have inseam pockets, so there's supposed to be four pocket pieces. At this moment, I actually cut out only two because I was kind of indecisive. I kept on thinking maybe I'll make patch pockets or standard trouser pockets or something. I don't know what was going through my mind, but I ended up with two pieces. Right. Right. So I started sewing at this point. First, I joined the center front seams on the front and on the back. So I didn't unpin them. So the two front pieces, two back pieces, I'm just going to sew down those parts. Now I've done that, you can see they're joined together in one, one pieces now. Next, I move on to the pocket. The pocket has a lot of raw edges, so I'm just going to sew down on those edges to make them tidy. Now, you can see me actually trying to correct my side seams because with all the patching I did and moving things around, I wanted to cross check that they're still the same, make sure I mark my hip lines, make sure I mark my pocket lines. So I'm making marks, I'm making notches as you can see with my scissors. I'm just cross checking that they are aligned and they are the same. So you can see I'm just cross checking everywhere. Because of all that patching, some things are a little higher. And I also took away the uh, waist shaping on the front when I drafted it. So I have to do the same for the back by half an inch so that it matches because it doesn't go all the way to the natural waist as you can see so now i'm cross checking everything as i said that being done i had finally decided i needed another set of pockets since i was going to do inseam pockets so i had to gather all my fabric together for patching i was just i wasn't pattern matching at this point we really just trying to make sure i had enough to make another pair of pockets so i had enough I could fold it over and cut out another pair. I've already tidied up all the joints so that there's no raw edges. So it was really easy at this point to just cut it out. And I had uh, a second pair of pockets to use. I'm just marking my notches and that's the second pair of pockets. To attach it, I'm just going to place them right sides facing two for the front, making sure I mark the notches so that the pockets are on the same spot. I'm going to do the same for the back, right sides facing. You can see it's right sides facing and it's inside the shorts. That's how you want it to be facing. I'm now just going to join them using a quarter seam allowance so that the pockets stay inside the garment and they don't poke out. At this point, I have joined my front pockets. I've joined my back pockets. I've joined my pockets. <laughs> and you can see they line up outside. So that's how you want them to be. You want them to come out. You've ironed everything down. And don't forget to understitch when you sew your pockets. Understitch the seam allowance towards the pockets. Now at this point, I'm just going to join the front and back. I will sew up the side seams and around the pockets. So you can see I'm pinning the side seams. And then I'll just sew one straight line down the side seam and sew around the pockets. At this point, everything should be aligning up um, easily and it shouldn't be a problem. Next, we're moving on to the crotch seam. I will just match the two center lines, the center front and center back, pin that down and join the, where are my pins? <laughs> and join the inseams. Those are the inseams I'm pinning. I'm just going to show you, so a straight line. Also, I'm going to go to the machine and fold over my one and a quarter inch for the waistband. So with everything folded down, not just folded down, I've actually stitched the waistband down at this point. I'm using one inch elastic band, so that's why I left a one and a quarter inch. So depending on the width of your elastic band, that depend that will tell you how much you should leave for the casing of the elastic. I am using um, a safety pin to fit it through the tube. Now that I've gotten it out, I'm just going to sew them together by overlapping the two pieces, just like that. Just going to join it with an X, and the shorts are done. So everything is stretched out. I think what's left now is the hem. So you see, I um, aligned it on its side so that I can line everything up. I use the pattern piece to check my grain line to make sure it's straight because the grain line is going to make sure it's straight on my body, not just the way it looks on the table. Once I found a good line and I spurred it up, I folded it and creased it on that line. I'm now going to take it to my ironing table and press that crease in and sew it down. I didn't leave any raw edges as you can see. I folded it twice just to be sure. It's not even on the inside, but it's even on the outside. Snipping off all my extra threads and it is completely done. Beautiful. So these shorts are very easy. You can try them. I went through the extra step of using scrap fabric, which took a lot of extra time. 
Otherwise, this is a fairly quick project. It fits very comfortably. And even right now I'm editing this video, I'm wearing them. So thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye.